Hi YouTube and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, first off I just want to start and say thank you so so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my first video. Um, I'm a little bit calmer now as you can probably tell <laughs> I was so nervous um, because I didn't really know I still don't really know how this channel's gonna go. See, on, on TikTok, I um, I do the videos of the food or the, the baking and I just talk about the baking and I kind of want to bring a bit more of me into my YouTube channel. So I'm trying to figure out how to do that. Um, I've also still got to figure out camera, sound and all that sort of stuff, but I've been putting this off for so long that I just was like, everything else will work itself out I will learn and then you know let's just get going because I'm just I have loads of ideas and I just want to get going so here it is the rough <laughs> the rough start we will get it smoothed I promise okay so carrying on from my first video obviously I did the passion fruit martini cake and I said in the video that I had made the curd from scratch and I was going to show you and I promise you I was going to do it. So today I'm going to show you how I made this passion fruit curd. It's delicious. It's so good. It's really good for the filling for the cake, but you could also use it on toast. You can use it on scones. You can use it on pretty much anything. Um, if you want a passion fruit flavored sandwich, go for it. Let me know how that goes. <laughs> Once I figure out how to turn on my comments, I'm, I'm working on that. Um, but yeah, so this is what I'm going to show you how I did or how I made these. And um, yeah, let's have some fun. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely getting easier to be in front of the camera. <laughs> um, so I got my passion fruit from Asda. I didn't realise Asda sold passion fruit. So that was a good handy tip because that's my local uh, supermarket and the only time I've ever touched a passion fruit was actually from when I've had a passion fruit martini from the slug and lettuce so um, <laughs> I didn't realize how tough the exterior of a passion fruit was so that was interesting um, anyway so what I'm doing is I'm taking the passion fruit and I'm emptying the contents into this bowl I'm going to pop the ingredients on the um, on the screen here for you right now um, and then Basically, I've done this over and over and over again, and then we're going to blend it down uh, so that we get all that pulp. Um, this was a little bit messy, and I ha you had to keep, like, emptying or, like, cleaning out the end of the blender because it would, like, you can see here, all the seeds and stuff are kind of getting, like, wedged. So that was, like, a process. So once I finish blending this, it'll be, um, it's basically broken all the seeds up into a tiny little bits. Um, and I'm going to strain it now so that I kind of get most of these seeds away. I just want that yummy yellow kind of, it's almost like custard, isn't it? Like a very eggy custard color. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now because we're going to start cooking it in a minute. Um, the smell is amazing. Like passion fruit is a really beautiful smell. Um, so yeah, so I very much enjoyed this whole process just because it smelled great in my kitchen. <laughs> I am having so much fun making these YouTube videos. I generally thought I was going to struggle to find things to say and talk about for eight, nine, ten minutes, depending on how long the video is. Um, but actually, it's, I can ramble. I'm really good at rambling. <laughs> and I will find things to talk about. I always do. I don't know how. It's just like a magic thing. Look at that. Perfect. So now we're going to add the butter, which is uh, in cubed form. <laughs> um, and I'm just weighing that out. I uh, just want to say thank you so, so much for taking the time out of your day of watching my first video. And if you subscribed, thank you so, so much. Um, I've already filmed my like finish to this video and I forgot to mention if you'd like to subscribe I you know would really appreciate it and if you um, want to give this video a thumbs up then I you know I'd love you forever <laughs> I'm terrible at this YouTube thing no I'm, I'm learning it's all a learning curve it's fine it's fine <laughs> right now I'm just starting to cook the egg sugar and butter with the pulped I think it's pulped i think that's what i'm after uh passion fruit and it, you'll just see now this like as i'm cooking it and i haven't got it on a high heat because i don't want to cook the egg i don't want to end up with like some scrambled egg in the middle of this um but you'll notice it'll start to thicken up as as i'm cooking it so yeah low heat uh is the way to go with this 
and lots of patience and lots of stirring and just to keep going and going until it starts thickening up. And I got really excited when I realised that it was starting to thicken up because I generally didn't think it was actually going to happen. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've already filmed my next video. I know I'm just like super eager. Um, <laughs> I can't help myself um, and I can't wait to start editing that and kind of get it ready for you. It looks like I'm getting a schedule on a Tuesday so at the moment I'm doing Tuesday at 6 p.m is when these kind of go live um but I haven't like finalized on that so I'll have to just see and at, at the moment I'm only doing one video a week just because of how much I'm working but I might be able to get to doing two maybe and I was also thinking I might start uploading shorts short videos from from the videos that I do on TikTok maybe just to kind of help I don't know, promote me. I don't know. Anyway, um, look at this. It's nice and thick. Lovely, jubbly. It actually looks like a soup now, like a kind of vegetable soup almost. Um, so once it's all nice and thick, um, I'm going to take it off the heat, let it cool down a little bit, and then we're going to transfer it into the jars that I have ready. But I am so, so happy. This is looking perfect. Absolutely perfect. So luckily I had these jars um, on hand from when I did some cake jars uh, for charity a few years ago. So it's nice to actually have a use for them. Um, but I'm filling them up to the brim and then basically popping these in the fridge where they will cool down and kind of keep thickening up to a spreadable consistency. And I am absolutely over the moon with how these have turned out. <laughs> you need to give it a go. You need to give it a go. It looks so good. Okay, and that's it. Super simple, super easy way of making this passion fruit curd. And you know, you can do anything. You can try lemon curd, obviously jam is a good one. Um, you know, pretty much any fruit. I, I need to do like a raspberry one. Like there's just so many flavors that I have yet to try. Um, but yeah, I had so, so much fun making this curd. I really, really hope that you do too if you try it. Um, once I figure out how I get my comments on, I, I would love to hear how it turned out for you guys. Um, maybe we can troubleshoot if anyone has any uh, struggles. Um, one thing I will say is I am not an expert. I am learning along the way a lot of the time with you guys. Um, I'm not perfect. Don't try to be. <laughs> Who wants to be perfect? It's boring. Um, we can be imperfect together. It's an imperfect world. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I have uh, some ideas coming for autumn and Halloween um, and I'm really excited to share them with you. So I hope you have a fantastic week and I will speak to you guys soon. Bye! <laughs> no!